So hey, uh, a student uh, had a little issue with this, and I said that I would take a look at it, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but the old uh, Jimmy Page kind of model looking thing. Uh, it sounds really nice. It sounds really unique. It definitely has its own kind of vibe. Um, if you don't know, uh, oh, it's a Dan Electric DC 59 or something like that, or maybe that's what they're called now, or I don't know. But Jimmy Page had one in black, and uh, this is super cool. So if you don't know about this, these were really, really inexpensive guitars that you could buy, I believe, at like Sears and Roebuck and stuff like that, like department store kind of guitars. Uh, this one is uh, made out of the top and the back, I believe, are like press board, not even wood, they're like basically like high density cardboard. Um, and the pick card here is like Formica. Uh, it's, it's really weird. And the edging on it is just tape. It's just like tape taped on and it's sort of like peeling and a little bit in spots. Um, kind of weird. It has the lipstick pickups and they adjust. Um, this is kind of a beat up guitar. Uh, it's, it belongs to a kid and it's a little bit beat up. Uh, but they adjust. Um, the height adjustments are here. Okay, shh. Um, the tuners are inexpensive, <laughs> uh, but the neck feels nice. It sounds interesting. It sounds it sounds good. I like it, but it's definitely kind of its own little animal, you know, with the lipstick pickups and all. Um, it has concentric volume and tone controls. Uh, pickup selector. So here's the bridge pickup. Okay, the output is very very weak on these pickups. And they're dialed pretty far away from the strings, too. I don't want to mess with it. Not my guitar. Then the neck pickup. Way louder. And then together it has a nice sound, too. It's nice, you know, there's not, there's not um, a whole lot that's terrible about it. Uh, there's a couple of, I guess, kind of design flaws. And I've seen newer models that address some of these flaws. Uh, so, first off, it's a really inexpensively built guitar with inexpensive material. But that's part of the sound. So, I'm not going to be like, you know, well, if they use real wood, or and you know and all that because then that changes so the real issue and if I just turn that amp off a little bit because this um, fluorescent lights humming the nut this was the issue that the kid had a couple of the strings were buzzing the nut slots were too low the nut is made out of aluminum and I'm assuming with the wound strings tuning and untuning and whatever, they're sawing away into those slots because aluminum is a fairly um, light, a fairly soft uh, metal. So I'm sure that the, the steel strings are cutting into it, so that's not so great. And the bridge here, it's like a floating, <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Yeah, okay, so you can see. It's like floating. And it's really just kind of, you know, held up on a couple of screws. It's just a flat piece of metal. So what ends up happening, and maybe I can show you, maybe not. If you can see, the bridge is kind of bowed down in the middle. So instead of the bridge arching, you know, like this, like with the... Um, curvature of the fretboard, it's actually not only flattened, but actually buckled in. So the middle strings, the pressure is kind of pushed that down. I've seen newer ones 
that I believe address that issue. Um, nonetheless, it's kind of all part of the vibe, it's all part of the, the charm. Uh, if I had one of these, I would probably shim underneath this a little bit before it started to buckle. So I would, I would wedge, you know, even just like a piece of, of hard wood or something, wedge that in there, just in the middle, just to help support it. Uh, it might probably change some of the tone, but whatever. Uh, so, back to how it sounds and all. And... Yeah, it kind of buzzes in all positions. Not too bad, though. So, let's turn on some gain. the sound um, with you know some gain thrown on it still has that kind of um, like airy kind of vibe to the tone it's, it's hard to describe uh, but it is very unique it's very interesting uh, so anyway enough of that so uh, it's an interesting guitar if you uh, had had any kind of interest, uh, to use that the word again, uh, in getting one of these, I wouldn't hesitate. It's a pretty cool guitar. Uh, it's unique, it's different. I don't think this would be my number one guitar, uh, but it, it does have a certain sound to it. It's kind of neat. So, there you go.